So this video is to explain the rules of the Equinox contest where the prize will be a P900 sent to the person who submits the best video entry. I don't plan to go into the geometry of the Equinox in this video, simply to explain the rules and what we are looking for in the contest entries. The countdown timer to the Equinox is currently at 6 days, 5 hours and 24 minutes. So before going any further, I just want to mention that this contest is the brainchild of James at the Equinox Project, and he will be reviewing all the entries submitted. So the motivation behind this contest is to encourage people to go out and make real-world observations on the day of the Equinox. It only happens twice per year in September and in March, and the observations that can be made on that day specifically relate to the sun angles and I call them the equinox sun angles. Just to revise them again, on the equinox the sun rises due east all over the earth. That's a bearing of 090 from true north. At local noon the elevation of the sun if we subtract that angle from 90 it will match your latitude and the sunset is due west 270 degrees all over the earth. So just looking at those sun angles, remember the 090 is a true direction based on true north. So if you're going to use a magnetic compass in your video, that's fine, but you will have to specify the local magnetic declination so that we can correct the direction back to a true bearing. As far as local noon is concerned, local noon is not 12 midday. Local noon is the point where the sun is the highest in the sky. And if we have a look there for today in Perth, it's when the sun crosses the meridian and you can get the time of local noon from time and date for your location. It's where the sun will be either directly north or directly south depending upon your viewing location. And similarly, when we look at the sunset, it is due west. That 270 degrees is a true direction based on true north. So again, if you're filming the sunset and you're using a magnetic compass to detail your direction, you must provide the magnetic declination so that we can correct back for true directions. So let's now take a look at the contest rules. Number one. The video must contain real footage verifying time, date, location and the direction of the sun seamlessly in one take with no edits. 2. The date and the time must be verified by a daily newspaper and or a GPS phone app that you show us in the video. 3. The location must be verified in a way that we can identify precisely where you are. Pan around to obtain identifiable features that we can verify in Google Earth. And if you want to include the actual position in Google Earth as well, that could be beneficial. So pan around so that it can be identified on Google Earth. Provide the precise latitude and longitude if possible. Number four, the entries are to be submitted before the 27th of September. So that gives you a few days after the equinox to put your video together. Point five, it must show at least one sunrise or one sunset with the sun at the horizon. Okay, it's no good to just have the sun close to the horizon. We need to see the actual sunrise or the sunset. Additional information, the local noon sun angle is not mandatory for entry into the competition, but if you do take the time to do that, of course, your video will have an advantage. Voice narrative is preferable. However, I do understand that some people may not feel confident enough to do that, so I'm quite happy if you want to make a written narrative instead of using your voice. As long as the information is clear and provided in one take, as mentioned in Rule 1 above, then that's fine. And where possible, introduce the video by showing the exact location on Google Earth. So it's fairly straightforward. You don't need to be a Steven Spielberg to produce this. Entries made just on a standard mobile phone are fine as long as you cover all these points. 
and what I'm going to do now is just show you two sample videos that I made almost 12 months ago in the previous September Equinox that will give you an idea of the format that is necessary for this contest entry. So the first video was made by me about a year ago in Broome, Australia and I was using the shadow at local noon to determine the latitude on the equinox basically just using a street pole and a measuring tape like you can see in the video I determined the length of the shadow at local noon compared that to the height of the pole and was able to work out an angle that matched correctly to the latitude in Broome and if you watch that video it will detail the process I used so the second sample was also made in Broome, Australia during the September 2016 equinox and in the video you will see that I verify the time, the date, the location and the angle of the sunset. So that's what we're looking for in the contest entry videos. I will detail the rules under this video just in the comments. If you have any further questions please don't hesitate to ask. I read the comments regularly and I'm certainly happy to answer any further questions. So give it a go guys, it costs you nothing, it's a 5 minute observation just to film a sunset and then put a short video together and as I said the best entry is going to win themselves a P900 and once we have a number of entries you can look forward to some detailed analysis of the results and then we will look at the geometry of how those angles on the equinox can help us understand the true shape of the earth very clearly.